Hey everyone, Milwaukee Pipeline for 2025 is coming up next month. So naturally, like I do every year, I went and dug through their patent filings to see what they might be coming out with. So without further ado, here's the list I found. So first up is an M18 powered jack. This has a screw lift powered by a motor uh, that lifts up the vehicle and they do mention safety pawls in this. So they may be making a design that you don't need jack stands for because you're going to have a latching capability on the jack itself. So it does depend on how they design it. So don't take my word for it. Read the instructions if they do come out with this one. Uh, it doesn't mention minimum or maximum lift height, uh, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty standard. Next up is another vehicle related one. This is an M18 powered cargo lift. So you can put it in your trailer hitch and it can lift stuff up from truck bed height down to the ground and back and forth. Uh, this looks like a really handy thing to have. It doesn't give you a maximum weight rating for it. Um, and it's probably gonna be pretty slow if it is lifting things up and down, but that sure beats installing a big lift gate on your truck. If you've got something you can just plug into the trailer hitch and go. They do mention a couple different ways they could accomplish this, one with a hydraulic system and the other with a gear-driven system. So the, the patent is kind of open-ended and gives them options. Next up is an M18 reciprocating saw that is specifically designed for cutting pipe. So it clamps onto the pipe so you don't have to worry about pressing the shoe against it and keeping it in contact. And then it rotates through the cut to allow the blade to make that cut. And another thing, it's opposite. The blade is facing upward in this type of reciprocating saw. So you can get up against a ceiling or a flat surface in a wall and make the cut right there without having the saw body in the way. This next one is an impact ratchet. So it's a combination right angle impact, also a ratchet. So this gives you the option of breaking loose a fastener uh, with an impact action that's gonna give you more torque and then taking it off with the ratchet. Uh, and then when you're installing, you can run it on really fast and finish by hand with a ratchet if you want to have feedback on it uh, and, and get a precise torque. They show an M18 version in this patent, but I think they'd probably want to stick with M12 due to the form factor of the tool. Speaking of M12 and ratchets, there is an M12 multi-speed ratchet patent here that they have filed, and that kind of combines the best of their original M12 fuel ratchets, which were pretty high torque, I think up to 50 foot-pounds, and then their high-speed ratchets, which are lower torque but much faster. So this multi-speed ratchet would give you the best of both worlds. You can gear it down and get high torque, or you can gear it up and get faster speed. Another M12 tool is this patent for M12 snips. So these are gonna be replacing like a handheld tin snip type tool and just using an M12 motor for that. And Milwaukee really has a goal for their M12 platform to be replacing hand tools. So this kind of makes sense there. This is gonna be a little bit less powerful than a nibbler obviously, and it's gonna be smaller so you can get it into more spaces. It looks very similar to the M12 pruning shears in form factor. Another M18 tool is this M18 nut runner. Uh, and this is gonna be something that's more for precise torque applications in like an industrial setting. So it's not a ratchet, it's something that you can adjust the torque on and get a, you know, in an assembly line or something like that and get a specific torque dialed in and run in uh, fasteners over and over again. All right, here we've got a patent for an M18 Packout Area Light. And I found one of these last year that was similar, but it was a different design depicted. And I think what Milwaukee has done is they refined that concept a little bit. So here you've got a tall telescopic light on top of a Packout base. And the patent mentions this one's going to have the option for AC or DC power in an internal protected battery compartment. So this next tool is a very specialized one. It's an M18 shear wrench. And what this does is it, it takes a special type of fastener. You have a nut and you have a spline on the end of your bolt and it torques those two against each other so you don't have any external torque reaction and you can get very high torque out of this thing uh, and very precise torque because when the fastener is seated, it will shear off the weakened end of that bolt and you have a perfectly tensioned fas fastener in a big construction application like building a skyscraper or something. And the nice thing about that is you don't have an impact tool, you don't have to have external bracing like you do with a torque multiplier, uh, and you just get a repeatable process over and over again with a fairly easy to manage tool. 
Another M18 tool they've got a patent filed for is a transverse axis rotary hammer. So when I first saw the drawing on this, I was like, oh, another whole hog. But this is not just a drill, this is a rotary hammer in the same form factor. So this would be for applications, you need a rotary hammer, and they're generally pretty long, and you can't fit one in that space, this would be the tool for the job. And this seems to be a pretty revolutionary concept, because as far as I could find, only Hilti and Bosch have a right angle adapter for rotary hammers, and I couldn't find any other right angle rotary hammers just innately built into the tool. Now another interesting patent I found is for a toroidal fan blade used in a blower. So a while ago MIT came out with a research paper about the efficiency and lower noise of a toroidal fan and Milwaukee has taken that concept and applied it towards leaf blowers uh, to kind of put those two together so you'll have a lower noise leaf blower that's pretty efficient as well. This patent shows both handheld and backpack blowers that they're considering using this concept in. Along with the theme of outdoor tools, this one is a battery powered pole tamper. So it's got a spring return and a motor to run the oscillating motion. Uh, and the battery option on this is housed separately off the unit so it doesn't get subject to all that vibration. So presumably you've had a, you have a backpack or a belt pack that holds those batteries and you just hold the, the pole tamper in your hand. The illustrations on this show a remote control option as well and there's a safety feature mentioned in the patent text of turning it off if it's sensed to be tipped over on its side. Now another OPE patent, this one is for a couple different gardening tools that help you plant flowers and grasses and other little small things, not big shrubs or trees. Um, but this one shows an auger that you could probably put on the M18 powerhead um, for planting flowers and grasses with the click, quick lock system. There's also a drill mounted option here that has an extension that allows you to drill holes with a little drill mounted auger without having to bend down at ground level. And then it shows a little claw scoop that is powered uh, as well as a weeding tool that's powered as well, kind of like a Fiskars or a grandpa's weeder. Something else for the quick lock system, they've got a patent here that shows a dethatcher attachment for it uh, that goes on and attaches to the power head. It's very similar to the one Ego just released a month ago, so we'll see how that IP works out. I haven't gone through the claims and seen if who's infringing who, but there's a couple of these coming to the market, which is pretty cool. This same patent also shows a core aerator attachment or possibly even a standalone tool. Uh, that's gonna have to have some water ballast or something either way, I think, to be able to, to do that quickly and efficiently without just the tool jumping all over the place. Now, going beyond the quick lock system, Milwaukee has a patent here for a larger modular outdoor power equipment system. So this has a handle and wheels and then it's got a bunch of different attachments mentioned or shown in the patent. It's got a seed broadcaster shown, a dethatcher, a walk behind blower, a sprayer, a reel mower, a slitter, an edger, an aerator, and a broom mentioned. So this patent covers a lot of different concepts. I'm interested to see what Milwaukee does with this idea. Now this patent does not mention if it's M18 or MX fuel, and I think depending on whether Milwaukee primarily wants to target commercial, or if they want to capture homeowners in that too, which direction they'll go with that. Now moving on to some MX fuel tools that I found. This one is an MX fuel walk behind blower. So it's got variable speed, optional self propel mentioned in here, also LED area lighting. The RPM mentioned in this for the motor is 21,000 to 38,000. So this thing's ripping pretty fast. And then it says it's optimized for the most power with the lowest noise. So they're taking that into consideration as well. Another MX Fuel tool that I found is for this giant MX Fuel sight light. They already have one sight light that's kind of just a tower. This one is more of a standalone wheeled unit. It looks like it's on a wheeled cart and it has four separate legs at the corners that can be dropped down to stabilize everything and level it out. Um, it's shown with four MX Fuel XC batteries on board on this thing. So this is going to have some serious light output and some serious runtime. It shows an extendable center mast with two outriggers that allow the lights to be spread out and really cover a huge area. 
Another MX Fuel tool that I found is this MX Fuel cable puller. So they've already got the M18 Angler that lets you ca pull cables. This one's for a lot heavier duty options for electricians. Um, it's gonna have a foot pedal to operate it. It's gonna have high and low speeds and it's gonna have torque monitoring so you can provide a tension measurement that regulates pulling force. All right, some interesting patents I found with Milwaukee for their bolt system, which is their hard hat modular system. Here they've got a hard hat fan patent that's filed and it shows a few options for different fan configurations uh, for cooling your head when you're working. They show just a regular fan hanging down which I can see getting in the way and then they kind of refine the concept with a ducted option that's going to put that air right on your head uh, and wick away and blow and evaporate sweat to keep you cool. Another really interesting hard hat attachment I found is this Milwaukee VR system. So a couple years ago, I found a VR layout that would let you take blueprints and see where everything's supposed to go in, in, a, in the floor plan. And so if you're, you know, running plumbing, you can see exactly where you're supposed to place everything, and it just makes it a lot more cohesive between the, all the trades uh, staying out of each other's way. So it seems like they're still developing this concept because they're looking into a ruggedized VR headset. You're not gonna have to take your Apple Vision Pro or your Meta Quest or anything like that. Milwaukee looks like they're developing their own system. And with that ruggedized concept, it's going to bolt onto a hard hat so you can flip it up out of the way when you don't wanna look through it and flip it down when you wanna see that augmented reality. In that way, you're also not setting an expensive headset down somewhere where it can get damaged. You've got it on your person at all times. All right, one more patent I found that Milwaukee has that is really interesting is for a similar to saw stop concept where instead of using capacitive sensing like saw stop does, in all their patents. Uh, this uses a vision-based system. So it's a machine learning model that knows what a hand looks like basically in all different types of positions. And it can tell when you're moving into a, a warning zone or a danger zone is what's mentioned in the patent. And depending on how fast you're moving towards the blade and, and uh, where exactly that hand placement is, it'll either give you an audio and visual alarm to let you know you're putting your hand somewhere dangerous or it will stop the motor completely if you're close enough or moving fast enough towards it. It doesn't mention any cartridge style system like the Bosch Reacts or the Saw Stop has. It just mentions it's stopping the motor from rotating. So I don't know the reaction time on this, but it's definitely an interesting concept. And they show it primarily with a miter saw, which makes sense because you can put a camera on either side of the blade and you've always got a fixed orientation and that camera shouldn't be in the way. They also show a table saw option though with a kind of a weird little attachment that goes up from the riving knife and then points down. I can see that getting in the way more and you couldn't use that if you're doing uh, non through cuts like a dado, but it's a really interesting concept that I'm excited to see where this goes. So that's all the patents I found for 2025. And remember, these are just patents. There's no guarantee Milwaukee's bringing any of this to market, but it does show a pretty good indication of what they've been working on the past year. So I'd love to hear in the comments down below what you are most excited about. Uh, if you were stoked about anything that I found or if you've got your own predictions for Pipeline, I'd love to hear them. Let's see them in the comments section.